Hey everyone, JQJ the man back with another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing a strategy RPG for the Sega Saturn, Dragon Force. So without further ado, let's get into this review. The plot of Dragon Force basically goes like this. An evil god by the name of Madrug once wreaked havoc on the land of Legendra, but was sealed away many years ago. But now it has come time for his return. Eight heroes have been chosen to unite and form the Dragon Force and finally bring down the evil god Madruk. So that's the basic plot of the game. And the storyline isn't that complicated, but it still works for what kind of game this is. Alright. This is where the game really shines, the gameplay. At the beginning of the game, you'll be able to choose from one of eight heroes. This means a lot of replay value because each hero has their own storyline and a lot of different things will go down whichever hero you choose. So you'll be able to play through this game eight times and have a completely different experience. So when you start the game, you'll enter what seems to be a giant board game. For some part, it is sort of, because this is a strategy game. Basically what you'll need to be doing is going around and getting people to join your army. You'll have to be doing a lot of battles, conquering a lot of castles, and managing your army. Throughout the whole game, you're pretty much free to do whatever you want. You can manage your army however you want, you can recruit whatever troops you want, except the storyline ones that are mandatory. And a chunk of your time playing this game will be taken up by a very huge amount of large scale battles that will be taking place. The goal of each battle is to defeat all of your enemy's generals. The setup is pretty much a team elimination. At the beginning of the battle, each side will be able to choose from one of their generals. This is when the skirmishes will begin to take place. You'll have to use strategy in order to defeat all of your opponents by selecting from various commands in order to command your troops as well as your general. To win a skirmish, you must get the enemy's general life bar down to zero or if they retreat. You can also retreat the battle anytime you want, but it will result in your loss. Your general can use special attacks depending on which class they are, or which person they are. These special attacks can be deadly, easily wiping out dozens of soldiers, or do other things such as bring your men back to life. If both you and your general run out of men, you have to duel each other. There are different classes of soldiers in the game, including warriors, archers, monks, mages, and cavalry. Outside on the world map, you will be able to manage all of your castles and direct generals where you want them to go. In each castle, you can recruit soldiers, view stats, etc. In the top right of the screen, you will always notice the sand timer. Once the timer runs out, you will be able to take care of domestics. This consists of awarding merits to generals, which increase the amount of troops they can use, searching places for items and sometimes even generals, getting captured generals to join you, saving your game, etc. There are also event cutscenes that will happen at certain points in the game. So as the game goes on, you'll be leveling up your generals, getting more generals to join you, conquering more castles, uniting the land, and eventually forming up the Dragon Force. The graphics in my opinion are very nice. They definitely showed off the Saturn's 2D graphical capabilities. All the character sprites in this game are very well animated and detailed, and all the special attacks and magic spells also look spectacular. The coolest thing is that there can be up to 200 units fighting each other on screen at one time and there will be absolutely no slowdown. So everything about the graphics is good, so in my opinion the graphics definitely get two thumbs up. The sound in my opinion is excellent. The music in this game is just brilliant and definitely helps enhance the game's atmosphere. Everything from the battle themes to the road map themes sound just so great. The sound effects during battles are great as well. These sound effects consist of battle cries, weapon clashings, energy ball charging, etc. I really can't express anymore how great the sound is in this game. Definitely by all means if you can, try out this game. It's a very fun addicting strategy RPG. When you play this game, hours will fly by before you even know it. You'll think you'll only be playing for like 20 minutes, but in reality you've been playing for 3 hours. That's how fun this game is. 
I don't think you'll ever find a game quite like this one, so do yourself a favor and don't pass up this unique experience. Alright guys, this has been JKJ the Man with another review. Stay tuned.